The Columbia ES was introduced in 1898 as a DC electric coin-operated phonograph based on the Columbia A. Its near twin, the spring motor Columbia AS, was introduced at the same time. Both accept a P or standard-sized cylinder playing approximately two minutes. The Columbia ES postdated the Type S electric graphophone introduced in 1894 and Type N floor model and Type N table model coin-operated graphophones introduced in 1896. The aesthetically pleasing cabinet is made from oak. In form, it is similar to the cabinet used on the Type N tabletop coin-operated graphophone. The signboard paper is easily accessed by twisting the two turn buttons on the back side of the signboard. Cast feet allow the machine to be secured to prevent theft. Additionally, there are key locks for the hinge top, coin drawer, and drop front that provides access to the motor. The mechanical foundation of the Columbia ES graphophone is a combination of proven technology. The top works are based on the Columbia A graphophone. Introduced in December 1896, this was Columbia's first reasonably priced home model. It sold very well and was highly successful. The 2.5 volt DC electric motor is the same as was used in early electric Beltaner graphophones, as well as the 1894 Type S and 1896 Type N coin-operated graphophones. The 13.5 inch nickel-plated horn is unique to Columbia coin-operated offerings. It has an internal sleeve that accepts a unique elbow to secure it to the machine. The Columbia ES was produced in two variations. One variation with an external horn and one made explicitly for listening tubes. As stated on the card, glued on the underside of the curved glass top, the music starts with the drop of a nickel in the coin slot and pulling the knob at the front of the cabinet of the Columbia ES graphophone. A bundle of mischief made by the London Regimental Band, Lambert Records. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
That's all, folks.